morning guys it is july 28th it is saturday it's currently 9 at 16 a.m i'm about ready to go into walmart if you couldn't tell behind me but i wanted to film another weekend vlog i have some stuff planned for this weekend i'm going to be building some amazon furniture for our house so we are going to be trying to build those today but i have a few errands i want to run like usual on the weekends comes to walmart for one to two things already has five things in her basket Walmart was a success. I now only need to get one thing at the grocery store when I go. Let's see if that actually happens. But we are now going to Home Goods. They already have fall stuff out. This is dangerous for me. Look how cute this spoon holder like on a stove would be. Oh my gosh. I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> Do I need it? No. If I had the money to buy it? Would I? Absolutely. Okay, so I am back home now. I didn't find what I needed to find at Home Goods, but I did find a few Halloween items. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from Home Goods. First up, I got this adorable cat pillow. It was $14.99. How cute is this? This is gonna look so cute in the living room or on our bed. I really don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but I had to get it because of Thomas. Here's Tomas. Say hello, Tomas. He's like, I don't want to be held right now. He's got crazy eyes. Um. Anyways, back to the haul. I got two other Halloween items and then one just random item. So these next two items are from the same kind of brand. One of them is a spoon rest. I just thought that this was so neat to have in the kitchen. We have a house now, so instead of just decorating our living space, I get to decorate our bathrooms, our kitchen. I get to decorate an entire house for fall this year. So of course we need a few items. So we have this cute spoon rest and then from the same brand, so it's just this happy Halloween. It's the same thing. I got this really cute ghost utensil folder for the kitchen. I think it's so cute. I love this. This is $8.99 and this was $3.99. The last item I got at Home Goods, I didn't really need it, but I've always wanted one of these. And I did have one from the Target dollar section, but it broke because it was from the Target dollar section. So what did I expect? But it is a face ice roller. Um, this was $5.99, so I hope this one lasts a little bit longer. It looks a lot better, heavy, heavy duty compared to the one I got from Target dollar section. But yeah, I just got one of these kind of just at random. I saw it when I was checking out in those aisles that always get you at the end. So I picked it up. So that is kind of my mini home goods haul. I am now going to try and open these boxes. These have the entryway table and the two nightstands. I have no idea how hard they're going to be to put together, but I need to open them at least to check all the parts just because if there's anything damaged or wrong, I need to return them. And I think I have a couple weeks still for my Amazon return, but I want to do it sooner than later before I run out of time to do that. So first up on the agenda is I'm going to move this and pick up all the cat toys and move it out of the way so I have space to build. Rolling. I think it's this one because it says Oxford Rattan Council Table. It has that on it, so these must be the nightstands. organize all of this and we'll be back so I have sorted everything I got my favorite hack that I learned from my dad love you dad it will almost be a year since he passed here soon which is kind of mind-blowing but we will not get into that right now um but he always took a muffin tin and put all the little pieces and parts in their own compartment that way they don't go all over the floor they don't get jumbled together they're all in their little space so thank you dad for teaching me this there are a few pieces well two pieces i guess that are put together already which is like the legs which is really nice 
I also have to build the drawers, which is actually the first two steps of the thing is to build them. So that is what we are going to do. So we have built the boxes, put their little wheelie things on. Now the next step, it looks like to put the piece that the drawer will slip into on the legs. And then we start building. Yeah, um, it did say at the beginning, where was that? Um, Two-person assembly, I'm doing this myself. So this will be interesting, wish me luck. I have decided to move to the table because I could get these edges a lot easier when you have to use one of these stupid things. So that way I could just freely do it. I got one side on, got to get the other side, and then put the top together. Okay guys, the shelf is done. I will show you here in just a quick moment, but I'm going to pick up all of the trash. But I will show you in the next clip what this shelf looks like. Okay guys, are you ready for the reveal of the adorable entryway council table? Ta-da! I think it is so cute. I love it so much. Okay, so here is the council table. We have two drawers. The bottom shelf, I believe, can hold up to 30 pounds, it said. This is actually like a shelf, so it is a lot more sturdy than the drawers. But I just, I love this so much. I'm not sure if this is how I'll keep it. Like I said, I just kind of put some decorations on it for now. Need to figure out what I'm going to do with this guy because I want to refinish him and do something fun. But overall, it's exactly as it was pictured. I love it. And I recommend. It is now 12.53. I'm hungry, so I'm going to be making lunch now. I have become a lazy butt and haven't done anything. I watched the first episode of season three of Sweet Magnolia on Netflix. I love that show. I'm so excited for season three. I loved the first two seasons. That show is amazing. Cooper's family is coming into town, and so we are meeting them for supper. So I'm literally going to sit here and continue to watch Sweet Magnolia until they show up. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, if you can't tell. Um, we are about ready to go to breakfast with Cooper's family. We're going to this really cute crepe place. My outfit of the day is this really cute jumper from my friend's boutique. Like I say all the time, so many of my cute clothes are from there. So I will, of course, link her stuff down below. And then I just have a white tank top underneath, and I usually just wear it with my Burks. For the hair, of course, we just have a claw clip. I'm so excited for this crepe place, by the way, because I've ate there a few times. And of course, the, my favorite one is the banana strawberry Nutella one. So I will be getting that today. put all of the groceries away. I took a small 30 minute power nap. Now we are eating a lunch. I made chicken quesadillas or shall I say Cooper made them. I was taking my power nap and then we'll get ready to go golf. It is pretty hot outside but I packed a ton of snacks, water, and sunscreen. So we are getting ready to go golfing and I wanted to show you what I was wearing. I am just wearing this really cute dress from Halara. It has the built-in shorts and then this is like the special one that has where you can pull the shorts down to easily go to the bathroom. I usually don't like pink, but I recommend this dress. Okay, change of plans. I decided to change into the other Halara dress, but these shorts aren't attached at all to this dress and they just come separate so it's a dress with the shorts but it just has a nice cute collar i just think the other one would have been just a little too showy showy you know when you bend over to golf so i just felt like this one also has better back coverage to get less burnt still super cute i love them both and i've got them in a size medium i will try and put their information on the screen for you guys so you know which ones i got 
and the front line not doing well. Shot of 50, have had way too many sevens and way too many three putts. Ah! Water just spilled all over me. We just got done golfing, ended up shooting 100. I shot 50 and 50. The back nine I did better, but I had one eight and no sevens. The back nine I had four sevens. So I'm shooting like normal. I still always would like to be under 100. I was very sad when I shot, I think it was a six on the last hole instead of a five to get 100 instead of a 99. But we just went to Culver's and got a snack because it is well deserved. It is almost 6.30, so we will probably shower, eat our dessert, and then maybe make supper later. Hello guys, it is now 8.21. We have made supper. We made our regular egg roll bowl, and then I'm packing some for my lunch tomorrow. I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed following me along on one of my weekends. Bye guys.